Hi everyone, Cat Cool here, back again with another video. Uh, today we're back with some more Gran Turismo Sport, looking at the latest update, uh, version 1.34. Uh, the circuit we get this time is Autopolis, uh, international racing circuit, which is in Japan. Uh, and we start off with the first car, which is a Mazda Unos Roadster which is in the M100 class I've never driven around this track in a game um, but uh, I have had a quick go beforehand and uh, I, I must say I do like the circuit, I like the layout it's uh, it's a track I think you know will be is quite uh, easy to learn a lot of the corners are fast flowing there's a few tight air pins but nothing, uh, nothing major I think it'll be uh, quite interesting to race online this car's actually quite nippy for an M100 as well actually I like the car the car's nice as well as always it's nice to get some additions it's nice that uh, Polyphony Digital is still actively adding content to this title uh, as it has been out quite a long time now came out in 2017 so Ooh. <laughs> bit too much cab there But yeah, fairly long circuit as well. Uh, there is two configurations, there is a shorter layout as well. It's a cool looking bridge that. <laughs> and that's almost a lap. Right now we're in the Toyota GR Supra RZ 2019 and 300 class. <laughs> Didn't slow down enough for that, did I? <laughs> yeah, this feels um, a bit more of a challenge to drive. Uh, I have got traction control turned off. As I, that's how I race these cars anyway. Seems pretty quick though. Nice detailed interior as always. Sounds quite nice as well actually. It was in the change log for this update that the book dated some of the sounds a little bit. And uh, from what I had, I only had a quick glance over the change log but um, they also mentioned that in replays you'll now see the intro to races from sport mode and uh, and uh, public lobby racing, which is cool. Well, it is a bit of an handful, this car. <laughs> Fun to drive, though. It's not It's not to the point where you're like, oh, I can't control this, you know. It's not like that at all. It's just you have to be a bit, a bit careful with the throttle. Good car, though. 
Right, so now we're in the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren from 2009. I'm going to break a bit earlier for this corner this time. Especially in this car. It's not renowned for great brakes. <laughs> but lots of power. I'm liking this track more and more that I drive it. It's, uh, it's pretty good. This car is in the N600 class. Ooh! <laughs> Off the curb. This corner here reminds me of China, you know, with all the grandstands round the corner as you go round there. But yeah, we pretty much survived that. Right, so now we're in the Pagani Araya, is that how you say it? Uh, from 2013. thought these dashes in these cars looked at, oh god I was braking really early for that as well uh, I always thought they looked quite uh, I don't know, futuristic is that the right word? that's what I'm going with but uh, an N700 car this Taking this quite steady. <laughs> Do like this circuit though. There's been lots of overtaking opportunities round here. McLaren F1 GTR. This is a Group 3 car. So racing tyres on this car. Feels quite nice actually.
I like the dash as well. Looks cool. You know the uh, the instrument cluster and everything. additions this in this update I mean we can't really complain about any of it because I mean it's all free there's been no paid DLC in this game whatsoever which is it's pretty good you know Anyway, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it to be notified next time I'm live streaming or when I upload new videos. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and I have a Facebook page. Links to those are in the description. Take it easy everyone and uh, I shall catch up with you soon. Bye for now.